Okay, I'm going to show you how to make text magically appear. The first thing I'm going to do at the top, I have my text and I have a little, cute little border around it. I'm going to group those together. Um, and I'm going to control G is for group. I'm going to group the next one. And the next one. And then at the bottom, I've created duplicate uh, pumpkins. One of them is going to, and then I'm going to group those two together. One, the pumpkin that I'm, that's on the top that I'm grouping is going to appear, but because it's over one that's identical, you're not going to realize that it is appearing. So I'm grouping all of those together. So when I touch the pumpkin, it, dis it appears, but the magic part happens because you don't see the one that's in the back. All right, once those have all been grouped, I'm going to make sure that they're kind of lined up together like that. And then I'm going to give it a property. I select all three, and then I go over here to the side, and under my um, object animation, I'm going to choose Fade In. And then I want it to fade in when the object is clicked or touched, and I want it to be fast. Slow is fine, but I like fast. I like everything fast. So I'm going to check my page and make sure it works. So I go back, I touch it, and it appears. It appears, it appears, so it looks like we're ready to go. So now I'm going to fine-tune it, make sure it's right on top of that so that you can't tell it's appearing. It won't be perfect, but it's close enough. And then I'm going to lock everything. Now I'm going to check it one more time. I go back, and I touch it. It appears, appears, appears. Ta-da! That's a way to make text magically appear.